Hello everyone, this is my model of a bacterial cell. I'm going to go over what I used to make the cell via this wall here. And then I'm going to go to the model itself to show you the different parts of a bacterial cell. Now without further ado, let's get started. We start off with the cell wall, which I replicated using lapis lazuli. For flagellum, or flagella, I used cyan glass panes. I used orange clay to make a cell membrane. I used water to replicate cytoplasm. For ribosomes, I use glowstone, and for bricks, I and I use bricks as genetic material. Now to the model itself. The outside layer is a cell wall, which helps protect it from certain things that would otherwise kill it, like viruses and being digested. Sadly, only certain bacteria have this cell wall. The flagellum, or flagella, when plural, allow the bacterial cell to move. Some bacterial cells only have one flagella, some have many flagella, while others have none, which is kind of unfortunate, which means, because it means that they have to rely on other sources of transportations, transportation to move. The cell membrane is another layer of the digestive system. Its main job is to keep certain materials from coming out and in while letting others through. The cytoplasm is a gel-like liquid its main function is to make sure that the cell does not implode. It also holds certain things like ribosomes and the genetic material inside the cell. Um, the ribosomes are like little chemical factories that turn the food that the bacteria eat into proteins that the bacteria uses. And finally, we have the genetic material. This is the um, bacterial cell's DNA, which is which the it is what um, tells the bacteria what to do. This is technically its brain. Now I really hope you like this model and. Bye. Goodbye.